Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to A-LevelH2Chemistry.com. Today we're going to continue to talk about balancing redox equations using the half reaction method. In the previous video, we have discussed a question using the acidic medium. And today we're going to use alkaline medium to discuss further. Let's take a look on the board on the procedures and the steps to carry out balancing them. Now, this one is slightly longer, there are about 9 steps, but once you get used to it, it becomes very smooth and you're going to do it real fast. All right? Now, uh, first of all, using oxidation state or oxidation number, we're going to identify the oxidized and reduced species in the question. After which, we're going to balance the number of atoms oxidized or reduced for each half reaction equation, so the oxidation half and the reduction half. We're going to balance the oxygen atom by adding water molecules. We're going to balance the hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions to it. Next, we're going to add to both sides of the equation the same number of hydroxide ions, the OH minus ions, as there are H plus ions. Right? And this happens because the question state that is in the alkaline medium. After which, we're going to combine the H plus and OH minus ions to form water and we cancel any extra water that's available in the equation. We then balance the charges by adding electrons to it. And last but not least, once we have the oxidation and the reduction uh, half reaction equations, we then combine them using simultaneous equation itself, all right? by getting rid uh, of the re electrons towards the end. All right, let's get started. Now, uh, once again, this is step one. We need to find the oxidation state or oxidation number. So for the manganic ion MnO4 minus, this is plus seven. Iodide ion I minus, that's minus one. Uh, for this MnO2, oxygen is always minus two. So manganese is plus four. This is a free element, your RD molecule, so this is zero. So if you take a quick look, um, your manganese plus 7 to plus 4, it has been reduced, whereas I minus, all right, to I2, the number gets larger, so this has been oxidized, all right, so we have a reduction as well as an oxidation half reaction in my reading, okay? So let's get started, uh, probably we can do the oxidation first, this is much easier, so I minus, becomes I2, all right? So we have done step one. Balance number of atoms. So iodine over here, there's only one, so it times two, all right? And after which uh, they talk about the oxygen, hydrogen atoms, you realize on both sides, uh, we don't have any O or H that's lying around. So we go all the way to balance the charges, all right, by adding electrons. So over here, overall charge. Let me show you the overall charge is 2 minus and the overall charge on the other side is 0 all right i2 is a neutral molecule so it's 0 so in order to make sure that the the charges are same on the left and right hand side we need to add electrons so i'm going to add it on the right hand side so that overall here is 2 minus and this is 2 minus the overall charge itself all right so we are done with what we have the oxidation half equation so right now we're going to go to do the reduction half. All right, let's copy this down. So this MnO4 minus get reduced to become MnO2. All right. Now, so what are we going to do? We're going to balance the oxygen atom by adding water. Why? Um, we are skipping this step by the way because the manganese, the element they are looking at. Uh, each side there's only one of them, so it's okay. So really balance, alright? Number two. So right now we need to settle the step three. Balance O by adding water. Here got four O, here got two O. So obviously we're gonna add two H2O here. Alright. Next we're gonna balance hydrogen by adding H plus. On the right hand side there are two times two, there are four H atom. Alright, to balance it, I need to have four H plus on the other side. So it's 4H, 4H. Alright? Now, step five, 5, be careful. Add to both sides of the equation the same number of OH minus as there are H plus ions. 
So I realize over here there's 4H plus, so I'm going to add 4OH minus. And on the other side, I also have to add in 4OH minus. Alright? And then I'm going to combine H plus and OH minus to form water. So realize over here, it becomes 4H2O. The next step, we're going to do some cancellation. So let me move to this side, alright? Um, you realize here there is 4 water. On the other side, there's 2 water. So we're going to cancel this, and this becomes 2. Okay? So water, we have solved it also. Alright? Now, next, which is the last step, we need to balance the overall charge itself on the left and right hand side. Now let's take a look. Over this side, left with 2 water, which is neutral molecule. Here's MnO4 minus. So the charge over here will be equals to 1 minus. Whereas on the other side, MnO2 is a neutral compound also. That's 4 OH minus. So the overall charge on this side, okay, let me write this down, is 4 minus. Alright? Now, once you balance the charge, all right, which we're going to do, all right, let me get my color. All right, so here is 1 minus, here is 4 minus. Electrons are negatively charged. So we're going to add electrons on this side. So there will be 3 electron plus all right, this segment over there. Well, 3 minus, 1 minus, that's 4 minus. It's equal to the other side. So this will then be our reduction half equation. So what we need to do right now is to uh, combine the two half equations together all right, by getting rid of the electrons, by eliminating them right and left side. So over here, first equation, the two on the right. So I'm going to multiply by three. Um, the equation at the bottom, all right, the reduction equation, there are three electrons. So I'm going to multiply by 2. And then I'm going to add them up together, all right? So what do we get from here? So from the top, I'm going to have uh, 6, right? 2 times 3, 6i minus. And we go to this side, we're going to have 2 times 3, those 6 electron. 2 times 2 water, so that is 4 water molecules. 2 times MnO4 minus. Okay, so we are done with the left side. We're going to continue with the right-hand side. Huh? Let me shift uh, one row below. So this is times 3. So 3i2 times 3, 6 electron. And uh, the other side for this equation, two of them, 2mno4, 2mno2, all right? Plus 4oh minus times 2. So that's 8oh minus. And then you look at the electrons which you can cancel. Is there anything else we can cancel? I believe that's all. Let's write the final balance redox equation, which is 6i minus plus 4H2O plus 2MnO4 minus, and that gives you 3I2 plus 2MnO2 plus 8OH minus. I believe this is the final answer. Okay, all right, so um, when you want to balance your redox equation using the half reaction method, and if it's an alkaline medium like this case, do be careful of your step number five, all right, this one. Always add OH minus to both sides, the left and the right hand side of the half equation, because is in alkaline medium. If you don't do so, then realize your half equation will end off with H plus. And when you add it up together with the other half equation, you will have your final equation in uh, having a lot of H plus ions in the being shown, which doesn't really make sense because it's an alkaline medium. We should instead see uh, over here OH minus ions. Alright, now uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Uh, do come back to look at more videos on chemistry concepts and feel free to share this with your friends. I look forward to seeing you again. See ya.